Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about the Carolina rig. Everything I wish someone would have told me when I started fishing this technique. It seems like a relatively simple technique. You put a worm on it, you drag it around, but there's a couple little tricks that you can do to get more bites just like this while you're dragging a Carolina rig all summer long. Works in spring and fall as well, but I mainly use it in the summer. Stay tuned. Let's get right into it. We're gonna cover everything you need to know about the Carolina rig. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Carolina rig. It's one of my favorite ways to catch big bass all summer long uh, and numbers of bass too. It's a very effective way to find fish offshore. Uh, it's the way that I learned to find fish offshore. I spent a lot of time graphing around, fishing deep crankbaits, trying to fish super deep for these bass, trying to figure out why I could never catch fish. And then I started using the Carolina rig and that's kind of when I learned how to offshore fish. Uh, the, the things that this can do for you on the offshore fishing game is incredible. Uh, it's such an old forgotten technique sometimes, but it's probably one of the most effective baits to catch offshore bass just because it allows you to feel everything that's on the bottom. You will always know if your bait is in the right spot. Sometimes the hardest thing with offshore fishing is understanding if your bait's actually on the spot because a lot of times these fish will be on a spot the size of the front deck of your boat and you don't know if your bait's actually in that spot. But if you have this guy here and you drag it across that hard spot or that brush pile or whatever's down there, you will know instantly if you're dragging it on soft bottom or hard bottom and that is where the Carolina rig comes into play. It allows you to learn your fish finders, it allows you to learn offshore, everything you need with this one bait right here. I kind of did a video already on how to set this thing up. We're gonna cover a few little things about how to set this thing up in today's video, but more importantly, we're gonna talk more about what I wish someone would have told me while I'm fishing the Carolina rig out there, because that's the more important part. When rigging this up, it's pretty simple. All you're gonna put is a half ounce to a one ounce weight on here. I go half ounce if I'm in like less than 12 foot of water. If I'm in like 15, I might go to a three quarter and then like 20 or above or heavier current if you're fishing in a place that has current. That's when I'll go up to like a one ounce weight. I have a tungsten one on here today, but you don't have to fish tungsten. I fish egg weights a lot, um, lead ones. They work just fine. You'll still be able to feel on the bottom. Sometimes I think you just get a little bit more feel out of the tungsten but if you lose a bunch of them, it's up to you. I mean, I've fished both and they both work equally well. And then I have a little glass bead on here to make some sound. And then the trick to get that glass bead not to break is a little bobber stop right here. And I've done that. Like I said, I've already done the video. I'll link it at the end if you wanna learn how to really do this in depth. Um, I have a swivel here down to a liter. And then at the end, I have a three aught hook and then I'll put whatever I want on the end here. The biggest thing with the Carolina rig is you can fish literally anything you want on there. Sometimes the bait choice will matter. Other times it will not. It depends on the fish's mood. So today I've been throwing a green pumpkin speed worm, uh, just dragging it around down there. It's a very finesse profile and gets a lot of bites, but it also moves a little bit of water when you're dragging this bait really slowly on the bottom. I've also fished a little bit of the Six Sense Hog Walla. It's similar to a lizard. That's a very popular Carolina rig bait, a brush hog, a lizard, anything like that. Um, and then straight tail worms are excellent ones as well. And then the last two that people like to fish a lot are some type of fluke or a crawfish imitation. Um, either of those will work as well. You can pretty much put whatever you want on the back of a Carolina rig and it'll do just fine. It's more about getting your bait in the area and dragging it slow and making sure to keep it in front of the fish's face. For the actual setup itself, I just have a seven foot six medium heavy here. And then I have a loose speed spool, seven one to one gear ratio with 15 pound test fluorocarbon as my main line. Actually, this is 17 pound test. So I have 17 pound test on here. Um, and then that's the setup, the details come out on the water out there. So let's get out on the water. We'll talk about where and how we want to fish this thing. Make sure you're catching fish all summer long. So now that we talked about how to rig up a Carolina rig, like I said, there will be a video at the end of this one to go check out more information on how to rig up a Carolina rig and more tricks along the lines of actually rigging it. I want to talk more about how to actually fish this and where to fish it. So the number one thing is that this bait is the ultimate search tool. Even though it's a finesse bait, 
even though it's a bottom bouncing bait, this thing is an amazing search bait for summer bass. So what I like to do with my Carolina rig, the first thing I do is I graph around, I try to find areas that I wanna fish with this Carolina rig. I don't know what's down there on the bottom and that's where the Carolina rig comes into play. This half ounce weight will allow you to feel everything down there, and make sure you know what's going on. So. The fish in the summertime like areas that are hard bottom areas. They wanna have something that they can kind of gang up and sit on. It's a little bit deeper, cooler water, a little bit more uh, oxygenated water down deep, but they can push all that bait on those hard spots and eat the bait. So right in front of us here, we have a hard spot, which we're gonna cast our Carolina rig out on. I have a relatively short leader, so I can do an overhead throw just like I did there. Uh, but if you don't have a short leader, you're gonna have to sidearm it uh, and then all I'm doing is using the Carolina rig to feel what the bottom feels like down there. So I'm dragging it really slowly and I can feel that that bottom is kind of hard and it'll, you'll feel your, your weight kind of chugging along the bottom down there and you'll feel it going over rocks. A lot of times if you throw this near grass, actually what I'm doing today is I'm looking for holes in the grass where there's hard bottom. Um, there's not a lot of grass, it's only about six inches tall, but if I throw my Carolina rig and it feels spongy, I know that I'm in the grass and it's not gonna get bit. So I'll keep fishing it around until it feels hard and like I'm catching on the bottom and getting snagged. That's what you want it to feel like. You're actually pulling it across rocks or shells or whatever else could potentially be down there. That's where those fish live. So I'm using the bait to actually find where the fish are to make sure my bait is in front of the fish at all times. Uh, and it'll help you get more bites in the summer because you're actually keeping your bait in front of the fish longer. And then as for the actual retrieve of this bait, the biggest thing is you just want to drag your rod sideways rather than vertical or like actually hopping the bait. None of that is really necessary with a Carolina rig. You want that bait, mostly the weight, to be plowing into the bottom the entire time. So you always know what's down there and you can always be feeling for the subtlest little change in bottom composition. That is often where the biggest bass and most bass will live offshore. So I'm always dragging my rod slowly to the side uh, whichever side is better so I can always switch sides this way and drag this side of the boat it doesn't really matter which way you're dragging you just want to keep dragging sideways so that it's staying on the bottom the other big thing is that you want to fish this bait as slow as you possibly can um, typically you don't always have to do that you can fish this bait faster usually I'm gonna fish this bait as slow as I possibly can the slower you can fish it the more bites you're gonna get especially when you get in one of those key areas so if I'm feeling and the bottom is very smooth, I don't feel anything, I'll kind of drag it a little bit quicker, especially if I know there's some hard bottom around. So I'll kind of drag it until I find that hard bottom. Now I'm hitting hard bottom. So I'm actually gonna slow down and really milk that bait in that hard bottom area to try and get a bite. The longer that thing sits in front of that fish's face, the less chance they have to turn that thing down. If it's a meal in front of them, they're gonna wanna eat it, especially in the summertime. So I'll slowly drag this thing as slow as I possibly can to try and get the most bites. Uh, you can speed it up. That's one of the biggest things with your Carolina rig is just finding the correct retrieve speed for that day. Usually I start off slow, especially if I know where the fish are or I've graphed for where the fish are. If I don't know where the fish are, I'll actually kind of retrieve it a little bit quicker than I would if uh, I already knew where the fish were, because like I said, this makes an excellent search bait. So if you're dragging this thing quickly around down there on the bottom and you pull it in front of a fish and one eats it, the most aggressive one out of the school will eat this thing. And then you can end up throwing it back in there and fishing it a lot slower and catching even more fish. But you can find them by dragging it quickly. And the last part about the Carolina rig is your hook set. That's probably the most important thing and will keep more fish on than anything else you could possibly do. The number one thing you want to do with your Carolina rig is sweep to the side when you set the hook rather than set the hook vertical like this or pop it up off the bottom you don't want a slack line hook set all i'm gonna do when i get a bite i get a bite i'll just reel down till i'm tight like this and sweep into it all the way through the hook will penetrate and as soon as you get that fish just start winding as hard as you can and keep your rod tip down you don't want the fish coming up to the surface to try and throw the bait it is a weightless bait at the end so they do not have a lot of leverage to be able to throw this bait once you actually do hook up so you don't have to worry about losing too many that way but if you just start cranking and point your rod tip down to the water it'll keep them down rather than them trying to come up 
up and jump with a bunch of slack in your line, you can get all that slack out of your line and then you can fight the fish once you get it tight like that and you'll land a lot more fish that way. Um, the number one thing that people want to do, and I've done it many, many times, when you're fishing with a Carolina rig, you get that bite, it goes bump like a jig bite and you immediately just want to rear back and set the hook like that. And when you do that, you're gonna just pop the weight out of the bottom and the fish isn't actually gonna get the bait very well. It's gonna have the bait in its mouth, but when you pop the weight off of the bottom, it'll pull some slack out of that leader and it'll let the, let the fish know that it's getting hooked essentially. And then they'll drop the bait before you ever get a good hook in that fish. And then you'll end up losing the fish where if you just sweep into them, they never know it's coming. It just gets tighter and tighter and tighter in their mouth. And then you're sweeping into them and that hook just penetrates. It'll get them right in the corners of the mouth pretty much every time and you'll be good to go and you'll land the majority of those bass. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video talking about how to fish a Carolina rig and catch more bass. It's one of my favorite techniques to fish all summer long for bass, especially if you're just learning to offshore fish. This is a great technique to learn what's actually on the bottom out there and catch a lot of bass. If you want to see that video on how to rig up a Carolina rig and get more bites, go ahead and check this video out right here. Hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.